Hello everybody, welcome to the first round match of CCL Season 48 between a large thud and his Norse and Dietrich and his humans and what a start. We've got a pitch invasion with four down on each side uh, which to be fair does help the defence, right? Because it makes it hard to defend the ball and everything and so that's it's pretty it's pretty bad for start for Dietrich. A uh, large thud has a babe and a wizard, and horrible, disgusting Norse. Defending the ball is super so, easy. What do they look like? Block guard, block knight, blow guard, palm, jug, stand firm, guard, quad step guard. Like pretty decent as far as scumbag Norse go. Mighty blow on the yeti. Uh, decent human team by the looks of it. Jump up, Pom. Guard, 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 guard. Strength up. Edge four, move up. That's a nice, that's a nice catcher, isn't it? A gutter runner catcher. A literal gutter runner catcher. Amazing. Oh. Baited him into the GFI. <laughs> Like, dude, is it really worth GFI to base somebody who dodges away on a 1 in 36? No, it isn't, is the answer. A large thud should not have made that GFI. Like, really? What's it even doing? It's giving him a free assist is what it's doing. Like, that's literally all it's doing. Either, either he tackle palms this guy, which is probably the right play, or he, or he tackle palms this guy. But either, or you know, you could just dodge in a 2+, plus. like you're dodging away on 35 times out of 36, he's doing literally nothing, but... Oh, he is doing this guy, good. I think this is right, isn't he? Armour 7, and you're using your tackle, not just your palm, and armour 7. I guess the other option is, rather than dodging away, just put in two men and punch him, yeah, and he's just going to put in two men and punch him, isn't he? Maybe. Like, if you've put one on, don't you put in two? Apparently not. Like, this guy could have come here, and this guy could have gone there, and then you could have punched him or something. But just dodge it in. Just let it give him a free hit. Well, I don't understand why Dietrich did that. Maybe he changed his mind halfway through, but that's bizarre to just randomly get punched for no reason. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Right or wrong? Like the orc is fine, isn't he? Because he's getting in the way. But... Well, there you go, very deserved stun. <laughs> And then his tackle Pommer gets to hit somebody. It's pretty cool that both both teams have got a tackle Pommer uh, with jump up. In fact, they've both got jump up, haven't they? Berserkers start with jump up. And this guy's rolled it. He is getting dirty player foul though. He's a bit of Mr. Foul bait. And he did move in that blitzer to defend him, but that blitzer just got pommed and then his Pommer got fouled. So maybe that, and I thought that was the right blitz to blitz the size step, but maybe it wasn't right. Maybe the best blitz was to blitz the off and then cover him so he didn't get fouled out. In retaliation. Who knows? This off's in a good spot, isn't he, to cover this a little bit. It's a lot, a lot trickier. This guy's very exposed up there. But, oh wow, he's just going for the handoff instantly. Is this a potato? Potato. Sure looks like it. Oh, it's a god awful sideline cage. He must just be gone for it. This is a wizard as well. Oh god. This isn't a screen, so I don't know where he's standing. What? 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 I can see why Artemis. Act how Artemis acts now, to be honest. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Jesus, but what, what was this turn? 
<laughs> what was this turn by Dietrich? I mean, okay, it wasn't it wasn't a great position, was he? But what the hell was he thinking? Answers on a postcard. I'll be nice, Starfarer, as long as you don't have turns like this. <laughs> He's somehow got away with it as well, for at least a turn. Got a pile on, you dickhead. You've got a jump up. Doesn't even move back with a Yeti to try and pretend to do anything. Just get another assist in for the fun. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think I'm being nice anyway because I'm honest. I think it's nicer to be honest than lie. I'm not being insulting to the people, am I? Just, uh, just how they play a little children's game from 1994 <laughs> in one particular match, which may not be representative of their overall skill level. <laughs> That was weird from Dietrich. I, maybe he just panicked or whatever. But I guess he got away with it, but with five turns for a large thud and two drives in total, this could easily be a 2 1 grind. It doesn't have to be a full instant norsing, which it hasn't been. He hasn't done anything yet. Zero. Zero cas, but hardly any cas taken. In fact, this is about as far from a Norse match as you can get so far. No removals. What the hell? I mean, I think after he potatoed, he was afraid of the wizard. But, like, it was just weird. It was just mental, wasn't it? it was, like, the whole turn didn't make any sense. You wouldn't do that if you were just scared of the wizard. Like, maybe his cat went over the mouse, did a load of random moves, and he just had to recover. Who knows? Maybe he was playing Minecraft and, and forgot it was his turn and then just scrambled to do all of his uh, moves in the last second because it's like he'd forgotten how to play Blood Bowl and he just wanted to play Minecraft all day every day. Maybe that was the answer. Nobody knows. Is this a frenzy trap? No. Imagine not having a guard on the ogre. Sad. Yeah, Storybook Brawl is really fun. Really fun, to be fair. What's weird about Minecraft is how fun it is just mindlessly mining in straight lines. <laughs> it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre that they, like, it's unbelievable. Oh dear, Wolf Bar. Jesus. If you're going to watch that, why not watch the under-19s? Like, they're about ten times better. Or, like, you know, watch a third division <laughs> team. <laughs> that are, like, twenty times better. <laughs> I did indeed, Mango, yeah. Yeah, I like a lot of... Little children's games, Blood Bowl, Storybook Brawl, Minecraft. Oh, there's a big, there's a big Kaz. Famous wrestler, not that famous. Good apple. 
good line of guard here, isn't there? Strength, uh, strength up, stand firm, and uh, sidestep all there on the sideline. Pretty strong. Will it matter, or will they all just get banged out? Oh, jump up fail. Huge. Alright, this has been pretty good for Dietrich and pretty shit for a large thud. Well, he doesn't stand firm. Okay. Maybe he's got a plan. It's a pretty cool human team, yeah. So it's whether Dietrich can have a good turn now, isn't it? This is what he needs, because that, that last turn was good. Carry on! Don't go around the back, don't go around the back. He went around the back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He didn't stand firm and then moved back, directly back, to get his guard in. I'm not saying it's shit and wrong, but, uh, well, no, I am saying that. He'd have had, he'd have had a 2D here, wouldn't he? Instead, he blitzes with a 1D and... Yeah. Still tricky, still very tricky for a large third. Oh, maybe you can do a sexy sexy chain or something, or uh, something. Uh, hello, WTK13. Um, no, you're right, you're right. Every time you play anything else, um, they're just better than you. Humans are basically just a weak bash team um, they're just a bash team you know except they're not as strong and a bit faster so like they do match up a bit better against elves and stuff like that than orcs do but then on the other hand they're still elves so they don't match up that well you know <laughs> like they can still lose quite easily versus elves and, and skaven and stuff like that the things that are they're like their alleged good matches they're not even that good because they've got kind of good matches versus the best teams Ooh, that's a bad that's a bad miss for the ogre Hello, Rolex. Was there a miss surf? The, 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 there's a stand firm blitzer. I wasn't even watching for a surf. Look at that, gets round the back. I, I hated going round the back with one, and now he's gone round the back with two. Now he's gone round the back with three. And this is terrible, because he's just giving him a route through the centre, isn't it? Oh my god, he's gone even further on the back. Are you lunatic? What are you playing at? I don't like this. <laughs> Hello, Rolex. Um, how many teams do you have now? <laughs> About a thousand? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that far away from a thousand. <laughs> like literally, I've got, I've got about twenty-five or twenty-six. I, I don't, I don't even know how many I've got. To tell you the truth, but I've got about twenty-five or twenty-six. I just put them in the loft because I thought I'm never going to use them. Um, and like that's that feels like way too many to me. Hey, the strength four. He's got a scoring threat. Woo! Oh, couldn't get the potato down. Like, but you know, look how strong the potato was. These two, like, had people on them. These two, and each of three people completely out of the way. I hated, I hated the human's turn. I hated the human's turn. Yeah, it feels like I've got a lot. I haven't got all the stars. I've got a lot of the stars. I was going to try and get all of the stars and paint them all. And then again, I was just like, 
I'm just not going to play them, you know. I made a board, I made a custom board that I was really proud of. And uh, and then, like, you know, so I could store all my teams in the stands. And then I've literally played one game with it. And I played one game with it because the lad was moving away from Darlo, so he had one game before he left. And that was literally the only game in that stadium. I've made a stadium for, like, weeks. Maybe it's not weeks, but hours over weeks. And it's had literally one game played on it. Joke. So why even have level, you know? Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Do you know what, as well, when I lived in Leeds, I, I, I lived in Leeds for a bit, and one of the lads who, like, one of the reasons I moved to Leeds was to hang out with his lad more. And then uh, as I'm going back to Darlow, he's like, oh, you'll have to come down sometime and go out. And it's like, Jesus, I've been here for <laughs> fucking ages. Where have you been, you dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> 30 plus pitches, fair enough. Yeah, I was really happy with this. Like, I would have liked to have finished I never finished that's why I never finished it. Like, you know, I started making it and then I never finished it because I thought, well, what's the point? I'm never going to use it, so. But it was pretty cool, honestly. Even if I say so myself, I thought it was pretty cool. A pretty cool stadium. I could make it in Minecraft. <laughs> it was like Darlow Stadium. A bit like Darlow Stadium. It was inspired by Darlow Stadium. Pretty good. Oh my god, look at this. Is he going to score? No. He's got the reroll. Oh my god, if he scores. He gets the POW! <laughs> Full POW! <laughs> oh my god, against the stun firmer. <laughs> well that is why when you've got a really strong defense of strength 4 and sidestep and stand firm and you've got a real good chance of stopping them, you don't listen to John Barnes and get round the back. I thought that was t I thought that was really terrible getting those three guys round the back. I'm gonna find everyone who plays North in real life and just beat them. While he had to get lucky, fucking life. While he had to get lucky to score that, I just f like you know he could have just made it so he couldn't get through at all. Right, it was so close to just making it impossible, and he just got round the back, and it, it wasn't the way to beat them. <laughs> Not not in Blood Bowl a lot of the time. If you get on the wrong side of the ball, it gives them the chance to scoot away, doesn't it? Well, there's a time and a place, obviously. But um, to me, that was just got... Uh, you don't know John Barnes in the rap? The England rap? World in Motion? Oh, you're missing out. I mean, I don't know how anybody on earth could not know who John Barnes is, honestly. Honestly. That, that already is hard to believe that there's a human alive that doesn't know who John Barnes is. It's crazy, isn't it? I wonder who the most famous people are. Probably like Elvis and that, isn't it? But if you're British, you've, you should know John Barnes, shouldn't you? Maybe not. Maybe not kids today. Maybe not kids today, right? I guess he's pretty old now. God, it's crazy. Actually, thinking about it, this is probably like when, I, like to me, John Barnes is like Jeff Hurst, isn't it? Jesus Christ, I'm old. 1966 is about as old to kids today as like, sorry, Euro '96 is about as old now as. The World Cup in 66 was then, isn't it? That was 30 years of hurt. It's been 26 years since Euro 96. Fuck me. That's insane, isn't it? That's insane. It's like literally nearly as long between the World Cup in Euro 96 and now. Well, don't mind me. Don't mind me, I'm just about to have a cry. <laughs> you know, like, I was I was obviously, like, 15 in Euro 96, and to me, you know, the World Cup 
World Cup 1966 was like ancient history, right? Actual ancient history. Actual ancient history. There you go, Rolex. Football came home the, the month before with Bark, the England under 19s. No one cared for some reason. I don't know why people cared about the women's football, honestly. Artemis wouldn't. Art they should have got Artemis casting the women's football. That would have been good. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine Artemis casting that? would be brilliant. Oh, this is terrible! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, get out of town. <laughs> Get out of town, Wolfpack. <laughs> it's terrible. I mean, to be fair, I'm never going to watch women's football unless you make some kind of clockwork orange container to like hold my eyes open and stuff. But um, when when the the all conquering American women's team get beaten like fifteen nil by schoolboys, I don't put much stock in women's football. Sorry. Um, no, Star Ferret, that's not true. God, it is true. I mean, I guess if like if you're Scottish, it's probably better than the Scottish Premier League, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably better than the Scottish League, and like you know, the games can still be fun. I guess. No, I guess. I guess the games can still be fun, like you know, like the drama and that. But the skill level is not there, is it? Especially the goalkeepers are like diabolical. It's better when the, yeah, <laughs> the female Ravenelli. <laughs> French kiss. <laughs> no one will know who Ravenelli is now, will they? Holy shit. Ravenelli will, like, be, like, I don't know, all these crazy old players who I'd never heard of. And fucking Puskas and stuff. Like, <laughs> all of these crazy old players that, oh, God. Fucking Pele, like, Pele was, like, seemed ancient history. And now that's what she is. Fucking hell. Is it the Wally Bolly Nolly? Like, isn't that why you watch the football? Like, wasn't that, isn't that the, I don't know why anyone, to be fair, I don't, I don't watch little children's games anymore anyway. Um, but to me... You know, people more people watch the Premier League because it's the best. That's why they're not watching, you know, Division 3. And if people don't watch Division 3, why are they watching Division 7, you know? That's that's what I think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm very much like Artemis in Chalice. <laughs> Romario! Oh, what a player! What a player! Oh my god. Romario, legend. No one will have heard of Romario, will they? <laughs> yeah, you did. See, now you can watch Division 8 play. If you watch me. Uh, humans, are they better in the new rules? Not really. Because the, the thing, the teams that they're beat have got a bit worse right so they're probably worse if anything not that i've played the new rules but i've read the rule book which makes me better than most people who've played hundreds of games true true and there's a lot of like there's a lot of uh you know tribalism and like kind of religious kind of fervor isn't there in football um and just something to fucking do, <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> it's also something to do and something to mindlessly watch, isn't it? But honestly, it's funny they're watching little kids' games. Like, literally, because everyone who isn't watching... Everyone in the world who isn't watching this channel right now... Um... <laughs> think, like, it's fucking weird to watch Twitch, right? It's fucking weird to watch Twitch. And I thought that as well. Like, when I discovered Twitch, I thought it's fucking weird to watch Twitch. Why watch a game when you can just play the game? But it's the same with football and everything, isn't it? They're literally playing a little kid's game. And tennis and everything. They're literally just playing a little kid's game. And people are watching them. Like, it's weird, isn't it? And you could just go and play that little... Like, harder with football, so you've got to find people to do it with. But you, do you know what I mean? Like, you, like it's, it's weird, isn't it? It's so weird. So once I realised that, I just stopped watching. I just stopped watching sports. Then I li literally just stopped watching televised sports when I realised it was just the same as Twitch. <laughs> like fuck, why am I going to watch these fucking guys? They even dress like little kids. Some of them aren't they? It's weird. I mean, they're getting four hundred grand a week to play a little kids game, so you know they've got that going for them. Yeah, exactly, Ollie and Ollie. Yeah, like, that's fine. And I guess it's fine for, like, women as well, isn't it? Like, you know, so that's good, isn't it? Nah, that's a good point, Wolfpaw. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> I also can't play a Blood Bowl. Way! <laughs> Oh, he got the stun! What a lucky bastard! <laughs> Instant 2D and he just gets the stun. I guess he could have covered with a guarder, but holy shit. Yeah? Pretty much WTK, aren't they? Like, isn't that a little kid's thing to just run? Probably. Grown-ups don't really do it, do they? <laughs> Unless they're running for a bus. <laughs> Filling in your tax returns isn't an Olympic sport, is it? Could be, though. <laughs> <laughs> Stressing about bills. <laughs> Taking the kids to school. <laughs> Things like that could be grown up Olympic events. <laughs> Running and jumping shit like that is pretty much little kids' things. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Certainly did it when I was at school. F1, they all start with go karts, don't they? They all start with go karts. I imagine every single F1 driver, all 24 of them or whatever, started in uh, started in go karts. Ball carts is a little kid's activity, isn't it? <laughs> Dust your collection, yeah. yeah. But like sports are generally little kids' games, aren't they? Essentially. And like, you know, it's it's a bit like drug abuse and, and alcohol, isn't it? You know, like alcohol is the acceptable face of drug abuse, isn't it? And then like People laugh, like, do you know, <laughs> like, it's funny, isn't it? Loads of old people and that would be like, you know, if if your old relatives were, were visiting, you know, you're meeting your old relatives for a special occasion and that, and they'd be like, uh, no, you know, well, alcohol's still a grown-up thing, isn't it? I mean, it, technically, drugs and alcohol aren't kids' things. Um, but, you know, like, loads of old people would be like, Ooh, I uh, got drunk the other night. Oh, but if you, but you know, if if you were then to say to them, oh yeah, I shot up loads of heroin last night, they'd be like, Jesus Christ, and you you'd be completely ostracised, wouldn't you? But like alcohol, totally acceptable. So it's that, that's just basically the same kind of thing with like sports and Twitch, isn't it? 
same, like similar kind of thing. It's just because it's glorious. been around no, for a I long time. People don't really I'm see victorious. it as little kids games. And I will defend. They're just like, woo, what's defend. a football? Way. Way, watch the footy, woo. And it is pretty much all people. It's about as deep as they go with it. <laughs> right, anyway, Tony, thank you very much for staying fantastic for 64 months. That's an extra beaver pregnancy. That's 16 whole beaver pregnancies. That's a whole stack in, uh, in Minecraft. 64, there you go. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, Tony. And hello. Well, there you go. The second half was just weird, wasn't it? Um, I'll be honest, I didn't pay any attention to the second half, but I can see that everyone's behind the ball, so we probably did the same thing again. Um, yeah, I lost interest. I'll be honest, I lost interest. But hey, at least I got to talk about football. <laughs> Realised how old I was. That's good, isn't it? That's good. Yeah, a little bit heroin. I've never had heroin, to be honest. I can't comment on what it's like. But I've often wanted to say to my relations that I had done heroin, just to see what they'd say. <laughs> I could be like... <laughs> well, why are you going on about the fucking beer? The, the wine you're drinking, you fucking dickhead. Like, Joey, you know I was thinking of doing it just so I could say that, but then I didn't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a method. No. I, of course, have never done anything illegal in my entire life. Definitely not. So. Yeah, I think that's fair to say, Wolfbark. Didn't do anything for me, really. Not that I've had it. <laughs> Honest governor. There you go. Honestly, I've, I've had... I have not had... <laughs> I have not taken anything, <laughs> but if I was to have taken things sometimes, none of them would have done much for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? There was only one time when I wasn't having it that it was, it actually did seem quite impactful. <laughs> <laughs> But only one time I didn't have it, I've, out of several times I didn't have it. <laughs> I was definitely not, Ton. <laughs> I was definitely not. Right, so what does he do here? Punch the Yeti and then blitz the... blitz the... Wolf? I don't know. Oh, he just gets blitzed. <laughs> just gets blitzed and completely fucked instead. Well, there you go. The Norse got banged out a bit as well. God knows what the humans were playing at. They probably should have. They probably did the same thing as they did in the first half. Oh, the sidestep has got him two squares of foot. Oh, no, he hasn't got sidestep. Oh, he's got sprint. Why has he got sprint? Oh, no. Imagine if he'd got sidestep. Like, literally, when he did the first one, I just thought he'd sidestep there and then he was going to sidestep to here. I was like even thinking, like I thought that was why he had gone there to stop the sidestep to there. Like I was just completely focused on this dude having a sidestep. And I was thinking he's got a block there so that he hits him behind. And I was like, oh, he can sidestep to there afterwards. But he just literally doesn't have sidestep. He's going to surf, surf the elf. No, you're not going to surf the elf. Oh, he might. He doesn't want Garyon to call him. He's gonna do his. He's gonna do his bit for CCL. No, he's not. Garyon. Oh, 
funny with the rambling, one of the comments was about the referendum, because we mentioned the referendum on the thing. He said, God, get over it already. It's democratic. It's, we've spoken. It's like, but it's 51%, isn't it? That's not that democratic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Um... He made 25 armor breaks, but he was the one down players at the end. Isn't that weird? 71 blocks. That's a lot of blocks. It was frenzy, I guess. And he got out bashed luck. Almost. 4 and 1, 4 and 2. For like twice as many blocks. But I guess he played better. So there you go. Commiserations, Dietrich. Congratulations, a large thud. Uh, hopefully somebody will cast your whole match next time. Um, stay fantastic. Thanks for watching. The end.